Talk to Captain Garland if you're looking to book passage. I already told you. I'm not going back to Soul's time. All right. You have a point. Taking you back to find out who sent them is the least I can do. Besides, maybe you can put a stop to whatever's going on over there. I owe them a bit of payback myself. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. You picked one of the worst places in Morrowind to do that, but suit yourself. Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? I... I'm unsure. I swear I know the name. I cannot face it. I don't think so. I'm not... The, the name has something to do with the Earthstone. I'm not sure what. I have to be. The second counselor, the security of Raven Rock, is my primary concern. This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. They're on the frontier, out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvane down. Councillor Morvane is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. A second Councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. Ravenrock started out as an Imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles. And when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind. Been that way ever since Mournhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. Quite a while ago, yes. They've cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. Attempted expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people? Or perhaps both? Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives. Many more were exiled from their homelands. Talk to Captain Gallon. I was starting to wonder what happened. We, uh, we were delayed by bad weather. Before you even ask, yes, have the supplies you requested. But... But what? This load cost me double what we'd agreed on. Nothing I can do about it. Damn it, Jolland, you know we don't have that much fun. Look, the East Empire Company didn't give me a choice. They raised their prices again. And there's nothing I can do about it. After all these years, they're gouging us for every last trait we have. Let me talk to Laryl. I'll see what we can do. All right, Admiral. 
Don't worry about rushing. Are you here to pray, or perhaps pay your respects at our ancestral tomb? There where we inter our dead. They are sacred places, meant to honor their passing. Sadly, we've been unable to use the ancestral tomb beneath the temple as of late, and have resorted to other locations to scatter the remains. Those foul vermin, the abominations we call ash spawn, have risen from the ashes of our own ancestors. They are befouling the memories of our forefathers by defiling their remains. Thank you, Wanderer. That would be most kind. Here, this key should open the door to the tomb. Hmm, sounds like something from a dream, and yet it might be more strange. I remember a temple on Solstein, and working to build something. It, uh, it was not a pleasant dream. The Dunmer race doesn't bury their dead or leave them to rot inside a stone sarcophagus. When a Dunmer passes, his body is given to fire, so he might return to the ash from whence he came. The Dunmer don't believe that death is the end. We believe that it's the beginning. The Reclamations are the true tribunal, the Daedra that consecrate the Dunmer people, Azura, Methala and Boethia. We call them the true tribunal because they have reclaimed their place in our hearts from the false tribunal that came before. Sotha Sil, Amalexia, and Vivek represent what was beings who won the Dunmer people's hearts with their actions, but blinded them just the same. They were aberrations, false prophets. They used their status as heroes to shield the true tribunal from our minds. But now that they've been destroyed, the light can finally shine upon the House of Reclamations. Be caught. Yes, friend. The Ashspawn are soulless beings with no regard for compassion.
What now? If you think it'll help. Excuse me, but the temple is for followers of our faith alone. Outsiders aren't welcome here. Mirag. It sounds very familiar. Uh, not someone here, but I'm not sure I can recall. I can't be sure. I know I've heard that name, but it, it doesn't feel real. Does that make any sense? Non-believers are never welcome here.
I... Spirits be praised. I'm hoping you didn't suffer much at the hands of those foul beings. Please, accept this as a token of my thanks. May Azura, Mafala, and Boethia guide you. If it wasn't for the forward, we'd be... You lost. On behalf of House Redoran and as Counselor of Raven Rock, I bid you welcome. My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Raven Rock. Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Otherwise, you'll answer to the Redoran Guard. Don't let the state of Ravenrock fool you. Our desire for Ravenrock's return to its former glory is as strong as the bulwark itself. Do I? What a strange thing. It sounds so familiar, and yet I cannot place the name. I'm not even sure. I can picture a temple here on Solstein. Must have been a bad dream. Solstein is theoretically under my rule, but without revenue from the mine, I lack the resources to actually govern anything but Ravenrock itself. Not that there's much beyond the confines of our town anyway. Well, there's a small enclave of Nords to the north in Skarl Village. They pretty much keep to themselves, and we both like it that way. Then there's Tel Mithrin to the east. The Telvani live out there. Sort of a strange lot. But since we're both from Morrowind, we get along. Other than that, Solstheim is crawling with bandits and reeklings. But that's to be expected living in a frontier like this. You've never heard of House Redoran? We're the mightiest of the great houses, and we lead the council, the ruling body of Morrowind. to suddenly turn my back. I'm sorry, my love. It's this island. It's never felt the same since we left Vardenfell. It's as though a part of me is missing. Every Dunmer left a piece of themselves behind when they departed our home. All we can do is make the most of what we have. This isn't Skyrim, Outland. A group of powerful and influential Dunmer families have been ruling Morrowind for millennia. They embody a council made up of five great houses. Telvani, Drez, Indoral, Sadras, and Redoran. Well, of course, with four other houses on the council, someone has to keep the rabble organized. Our house leads the council by virtue of our preeminence in battle, wisdom, and ancestral glory. Which I've done without question for over a Yes. Years. I imagine it's it would to someone not of our people. If you're interested in pursuing the subject, help yourself to any of the historical volumes in my I'm library. I'm sorry, my love. It's this island. It's never felt the same since It we used to be one there. of the richest ebony mines in Morrowind. But it dried out years ago. Every now, we're barely holding out here. Without the mine, Ravenrock doesn't do feel like it can last much longer. My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Ravenrock. As the wife to the second counselor of Ravenrock, it would be my pleasure you to help next you any way that I can. Not much contact with others you look able here. to venture outside of town. To Perhaps north. you could help north me recover something south. precious that was lost. Very well. A few months ago, Over I had sent an important folio to the first edition bookshop in the Imperial City to be rebound. 
They sent it back to me recently, but it never arrived. It doesn't matter. Yes, the strident squall, or something like that. A damn thing sunk right off the coast of Solstheim. Can you imagine? One of the sailors survived. Poor thing crawled all the way to Raven Rock on his hands and knees. Before he died, he told the Redwin Guard about the wreck and warned us that it was going to be crawling with reavers. Thank you. You have no idea how much it hurts losing such a precious heirloom. My husband is second counselor. You aren't here with bad news regarding my husband, are you? I couldn't bear it. Why does that sound so familiar? There's no one here by that name, and yet I swear I've heard it. I, I don't know. It almost feels like a dream. Something about a temple on the island. Adro Arano, second counselor of Raven Rock. How I hate that title. Damn fool's going to get himself killed over it someday. He's in grave danger, and yet he continues to place himself in harm's way. When I fall asleep at night, all I can do is hope he'll still be there when I awaken. This island was never meant for us. There's too much death here. I assure you, if I could convince Adril to do that, I'd be on the next ship back to Blacklight. Unfortunately, Adril and Councillor Morvane are very close friends, and they will never abandon one another, despite my feelings. I'm the wife of a second counselor, and certain things are expected of me. The most important thing is that I stand by Adril no matter how I feel, and I intend to do that until we get off this miserable rock. Adril and I lived in Blacklight, the capital city of Morrowind. House Redoran has improved Blacklight substantially over the last thousand years. Its grandeur rivals that of Mournhold itself. Councillor, I'm afraid there's the been another mass fire where the Council of Great Houses meet is something to be told. Already. How many did we lose this time? Fortunately, none. Captain I Bennett haven't seen a city in over 50 years. Even for a Dunmer, that seems know what like an eternity. Regardless, I Send hope to return my there someday. Which doesn't seem likely, given my husband's commitment to Councillor Morvane. My husband is second counselor, so I certainly have the means to reward you if you find my folio. Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by Anything our rules. Anything you can contribute Otherwise, to Raven Rock will be great for the I should be second counselor. It's been a long time since I walked the Ashlands of Vardenfell. I miss it terribly. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. No, 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Well, well. It's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? Good to hear. Damn layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Eager to make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. Don't look at me like that. I'm all alone out here, with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up at my doorstep about a fortnight ago. 
He noticed the shadow marks like you did, and I thought he was one of us. That he did, right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? It's my own formula for improved bone mold. Took me years to perfect. Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the Reeklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers. But he wouldn't listen. I bet a fat purse of coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. You do that, and I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. No, I... Wait, maybe. I don't know how I know that name. I... I'm not sure. I don't want to talk about this. A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell, but I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Raven Rock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Ripley. You need to talk some sense into your eyes. I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Wright, a very talented armor smith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stallrim, is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescious borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. Calling Stallrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. You tell Crescious he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. Hmm. Always a pleasure to watch when a man like you walks by. It gets lonely out here, you know. On this remote island. That's not someone who lives in Raven Rock, I don't think. But it sounds so familiar. Maybe. I can't help but think of some sort of temple on the island. Why would that be? And don't stay away for too long. If you're looking for any exotic ingredients, just ask. I might have what you need. I don't think so, though it sounds like a name I've heard before. I hear that name, and I see a temple here on Solstein. What does that mean? After we left Morrowind, we found ourselves in Skyrim. We wandered around a bit and ended up in Morthal, where we took up temporary residence with Lami, the town's alchemist. I was fascinated by her work, and over a period of a few years, she taught me quite a bit. It wasn't long before we became homesick. We were the only Dunmer in Morthal. When word reached us that a settlement of Dunmer was forming on Solstice, we were thrilled. It's been difficult. But I'm not regretting it one bit. In fact, I'm glad we've been able to stay and help. As you can imagine, the eruption of the Red Mountain took an awful toll on Solstein. Hunting for game has been scarce, and the waters are apparently too tainted for fishing. According to Counselor Morvane, my husband has been Raven Rock's most important food source for decades. Yes, I'm proud to say that I grow or harvest most of it myself. 
I only wish I had a better source for niche jelly. Those creatures are difficult to track down since it's so dangerous beyond the bulwark. That would be splendid. I'd be more than happy to give you something for the effort. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Careful with... Seriously hurt you and threaten you. 